Sorry, my brain is like, it's, it's glycogenless. I hit the wall about 67 minutes in to my 90 minutes of Pelotoning this morning and, and just barely grinded out the last 23 minutes. Stepped off the bike, immediately ate a handful of blackberries. Normally, I, like, I go take a shower, brush my teeth, help out with getting my daughter ready for daycare. Nah, man. Just a, a immediate blackberries as fast as possible. And then the damn Emma Lovewell ride. I'm so used to her calling, you know, like uh, lower cadence, long climbs. Then the average cadence on this freaking 90s ride is like in the 90s. What are you doing, Emma? It's my last ride of the day. I needed a ride that was in like the high 70s, low 80s. She's tossing me out some like... Uh, Oh, two princes by the Spin Doctors. Keep it at a uh, hundred and five cadence for the whole song. Two minute intervals over a hundred cadence to a seal song I've never even heard before in my life because I'm not from Middlesbrough. Just relax, lady. Seal has other songs. If you are from England, Seal has more songs. If you are from the rest of the world, Seal only has. Kiss from a Rose. But I think if you're from England, he has more songs. But they only unlock when you... If you're in North America, they only unlock when you beat Act 1 and get the rest of the map. You can cross the Atlantic, and then as soon as you get there, you, you find out Seal has like nine platinum albums or something. I'm not from England. He has at least three. What are you talking about? He's got Kiss from a Rose... And then the one that was on today's ride was called Crazy. I don't even know what it is, though. Like, I, even though we just, I just had it, I, I can't recall how it goes. No, no, not the Gnarls Barkley one. I know that one. The Killers are the same? What are you talking about? The Killers have, like, five songs. Mr. Brightside, Somebody Told Me, All These Things That I've Done, When You Were Young, and then the one that goes... Um, are we human or are we dancer? That's it. That's Devo. It's, it's a different. Is anybody speaking of which? Speaking of sampling, has anybody heard of um, the new Kylie Minogue song, "Padum Padum"? I liked it better when it was called "I Predict a Riot" by the Kaiser Chiefs. Anyway, it's actually a pretty good song. I'm okay with it as far as pop songs go. Seal has five platinum albums. That is fucking crazy, man. I listened to Kasabian yesterday. I think I only know one Kasabian song. Cash Machine. All those insanely popular indie rock bands from England in like 2001 to 2007, I only know one song. I know one Kasabian song. I know one Elbow song. I know, I know a couple Kaiser Chiefs songs. I know, um, I don't even know if I know a Baby Shambles song, to be honest. Cash Machine is by Hard Fight. Son of a bitch, you're right. What does Kasabian sing? Hang on, Kasabian? Don't put the Arctic Monkeys in there. They, first off, they got a couple good albums. They're not like a, a, a two-track wonder. The Killers rizzed up Baby Gronk. I, we're spinning our wheels here a little bit. You're just letting me... Take a, take a deep breath, get the glycogen back. There you go. What good Arctic Monkeys songs are there? I think, like, um, I'm, I'm mostly familiar with uh, their early work. I feel like Whatever People Say I Am, That's What I'm Not is a pretty good album. Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor, Riot Van, um, there's others. I can't remember. I just track one in the final track. Yeah, those are good. You know what band you never hear about anymore unless you live in England, probably? Whatever happened to people that were like really into the streets? Like, A Grand Don't Come For Free is such a good album. They're still around. They're still dope. The Streets is one guy. Yeah, but he's named The Streets. The Weeknd is one guy, too. Named himself after two days. That's a plus, too. Do you see that viral clip from the weekend's new show? We don't really need to quote it or like get into it or whatever, but. Just that 
<laughs> you know what? That's fair. I listen. You a fool. The weekend is Saturday, twelve oh one a.m. from from then till Sunday, eleven fifty nine p.m. Wrong. The weekend is actually. 6 p.m. on Friday until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Your weekend, spiritually, it starts when you're, when you're home from work. When the average 9 to 5 worker is home from work, that's the start of the weekend. And some people might say, I think if you ask people what their favorite time of the weekend is, they would say Friday night or Saturday morning. And then Sunday, 6 p.m., that the from 6 p.m. onwards that time starts to belong to your workplace unfortunately i'm not saying it's for the best i'm saying it's unfortunate because starting at 6 p.m. on sunday you got to be like oh i got to start thinking about doing responsible stuff and getting ready for bed and you know you get the idea you can adjust it yourself as you see fit that's zoomer thinking my impression of a zoomer having a thought this is the i'm the first person ever to have this thought sorry <laughs> it was millennials when we were zoomers too no one in the history has ever thought about this no one in history has ever felt like this ever before then my ass is reading some damn petrarch and i'm like what the fuck in the 1300s really this dude gets me this dude was spitting back in the day Sap. We're slowly learning what we're doing here, okay? And with the new sap mechanics, we're on the weekly, and I'm I'm starting to piece something together, okay? Uh, <laughs> to give one, give two random friends plus one health. That sort of thing isn't my bag, baby. You're a level two. You're a level okay. I think I'm I'm buying you. I'm freezing you too. I wish I could freeze you too, man. Freeze them back in the time when they made the Joshua tree so that they could keep making great music. Minus two? What do you do? You don't like uh, Joshua tree? That's not how you say it. How do you say it then? This, of course you showed up right there. Thanks, thanks for nothing. Say it without the accent. Joshua. Am I saying it weird? He can't? Joshua. It's Joshua. That's what I'm saying. Am I am I losing my mind? Josh Joshua? It's not Joshua. It's Joshua. It's Joshua? Like Oshawa. But Oshawa, you say it like Oshawa. Like I think I think you guys don't realize that you're the ones screwing up here. Joshua. I've never heard it said Joshua before. Joshua. Joshua. Well, you know what? We gotta get. Um, I was gonna say Bonobo. We gotta get. We gotta get Bono on the team, in order to teach us how how you two wanted it to be pronounced. I knew I was going down to lethal, by the way. But this was by design. This is my design. Now the squad can get rizzed up by Livy right here. All right. So this was like. Um, that was not a good run for us. My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man on the <laughs> You're going to turn me into a hater, man. I've never been a hater, so to speak. You're going to turn me into one. Because like, I can't open Twitter without seeing, like, the final battle of the Flash movie, which I... Oh, right, yeah. Which I don't even know is, like, out yet. But I've already seen the end of it against my will. And why is the whole thing filmed on like a completely flat landscape like this it's it's like straight up final destination style it's just like an open desert it's crazy man so the flash can run really fast can he run really fast like no matter what like i'm not that familiar with the flash but can he like he's is he defeated by stairs or whatever they filmed it in saskatchewan <laughs> Plus two, a little plus two for you there. He's like Claptrap. From Borderlands, Claptrap? 
The guy from Borderlands? The Flash was review bombed because of Ezra Miller's actions. Yeah, but did you hear the real news? Which is that Baby Gronk got rizzed up by Livy? He knows. He knows. Okay, lasagna on a shrimp. Call that surf and turf. Doesn't even make any sense. Lasagna is not really turf. I mean, it, it's, we don't need to get into this. <laughs> I think you're actually ass, and I should keep the penguin for now. Where did Malf go to college? Waterloo. Waterloo. Schools. Interlinked. Take this. Well, you know what? If we're going to do that, let's, let's go synergistic style here. Op, op, op on synergistic style. You know what I'm talking about? Hey! Sexy synergies. Op, op, op. Oh, man. That's still a minus two. We're not in like the... We're not in the Gangnam Style is cool again camp. It's been like literally 11 years or something like that. I, I, I agree. It should be in the post-irony area now. Needs five more years in the cooker? That's just... That's rough. I was, that's all I'm going to say is that's rough, man. That's a long time to, to get into post-irony. I feel like that's longer than it took for us to like rehabilitate Who Let the Dogs Out. And that's one of the worst songs ever made. It's post-irony, but it's still bad? What do you mean it's bad, though? Like, when you say it's bad, do you mean, like, Lil' Kim? Like, the way that bad equals, like, cool? It's bad like Michael Jackson's bad. Oh, thank you, chef. You know the way that he looked really bad right before he died. Oh, I'm sorry, chef. Remember, this is a little known Key and peel bit. Key and Peele, so funny. Hey, hey, dude, what are you hating on Key and Peele for? People will really be out here. They're like, oh, I love sketch comedy. Oh, every sketch comedy show ever made? Yeah, it's bad. No, no, there's three good Mr. Show sketches. There's three good Mr. Show sketches. The pre-taped call-in show. 23 is the biggest number. I think Key and Peele was pretty funny. I mean, they're all... It, that's the thing. Every sketch comedy show is like... 10%... Well, it's actually like 35% not funny at all. And then like 45%... Like, I get it. And then 20%, this is like, is a laugh riot. I think Key and Peele is like that. A lot of Key and Peele is like, that's not funny. And then some of Key and Peele is like, I get it, A.A. Ron. And then some of Key and Peele is like, um, I looked my wife in the windows of her soul. Ah, the Danish... Clearly from Brussels. East West College Bowl. That's a that's a classic. Not quite a fork, not quite a spoon, but something in between. A fapoon. Sweating guy. So I forgot about sweating guy. Sweating guy is really good. Anyways, I named seven other sketches, Daryl. No, Greg. That's just sketch comedy in a nutshell, man. It turns out, like, despite the fact that everybody loves watching sketch comedy shows, it's just not that funny to have to come up with a joke and then stretch it out into, like, a four-minute sketch. That being said, it's also, like, my favorite kind of show. Is he really playing Final Fantasy 16? I'm losing my mind. All the kids who are, like, 19 years old. That's like, really? This guy playing a Final Fantasy? As if I, I didn't Google... Uh, Final Fantasy VII sheet music printed out on my cannon ass bubble jet at home. Bring it to school in my book bag so that I could put it on my music stand and use that to warm up during the noodling period of grade 10 music class. When your ass was still like a zygotic. You think you invented Final Fantasy? You think the first one that came out was Final Fantasy XIV? You give off trumpet energy? I play the clarinet. That's worse than trumpet energy, for sure. Clarinet is just, is like, really rude, but kind of to myself. It's just like a nothing instrument, right? Clarinet? Oh, you mean, 
uh, worse oboe. <laughs> I feel like clarinet is like what you play when you're like, I don't know what to play. You're like, okay, my ass will play the clarinet. Boring ass instrument. You mean big recorder? Self-deprecation is clarinet energy. Please don't tell me I have clarinet energy. Like that's that's too far. Actually, you know, I wow. I was gonna say saxophone is worse, but like I definitely think saxophone is worse in like a an, a classical music context. Like it's crazy that in the orchestra or at least in um, in band class, there's a saxophone. There's like all these Mozart ass instruments, and then the dude from Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band is just chilling in the back playing the quest for Uluru on the tenor sax. Like, it's, it's just fucking weird, dude. That being said, the saxophone is cooler because it's also survived into, like, modern music, whereas the clarinet is just sort of like, I feel like you only play it in, like, prehistory. No disrespect to Kenny G or whatever. He might even be an oboist, for all I know. Like, let me put it this way. Steely Dan doesn't say, learn to use the clarinet. I play just what I feel. My ass was a trombone player in orchestra. Six years of going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right, that's kind of sick, though. My wife uh, majored in performance of music in the oboe, and she said, like, the, the brass players have the most fun. Like, if you're first chair violin, you're an oboist, or you're, like, you know, the, the queen of the flute section or whatever, like, you gotta take it pretty seriously. But she said the brass players were pretty much getting ripped, like, before performances. Well, the night before performances, anyway. As a tuba, I can confirm. I'm sure you still need, like, great pulmonary strength. But you do be going a lot of, like, boom, 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 boom. In, like, seventh grade. You know, sometimes you do, like, a school, uh, like, a class performance. I don't know why. I'm trying to think of what the word you would use for it is. Well, like, I was, <laughs> that was, like, even more embarrassing. I was in, um, like, an accelerated program in grade 7 and grade 8. So sometimes, like, my 7th grade and 8th grade classes, which were combined, would do, like, a concert for all the parents. And you'd always, you'd sing a song and you'd do, like, a little play or something like that. We did, like, a pantomime version of Leader of the Pack. And then my friend was, like, the best instrumentalist in our whole seventh grade class he played the trombone so he did a solo performance of good king wenselis that must have been riveting for all the people in the back and he was good but like it's the seventh grade so like he wasn't that good and he's the trombone so it's even worse what about your cat sitter Bro, she plays the piano. She's goaded at the piano. Piano is a serious instrument. Yo, you reminded me, by the way, I, I thought I had no cruise anecdotes. I actually do have one that I forgot about. On the first day we sat down and there was like an advertisement on our table. And it was uh, like, you can save money by buying a wine package. We, Kate and I don't really drink wine, but we're like, you know what? It's a special occasion. Maybe we can get like a five night wine package. So we, we bought it. It's like $150 or something like that. Um, and I guess I didn't really think about this at the time, but it's not like five bottles. It's like five nights of all you can drink wine. So you could order whatever you want. But we're like just two adults and a, like a toddler. So we're not drinking that much wine. So we were having like half a bottle of wine a night. And then on the last day... We got internet access and we started looking up the bottles of wine that we got. And I just, I basically let my wife order all of them. And she was like, you know, let's have some Prosecco. Let's have some Moscato. You know, let's say just, let's have some Rosé. It's not serious wine. It's just fun wine. Started looking that shit up on that last dinner. And we were like, we've had four bottles of wine. Each one of them was between 10 and $15 American. And we're like, oh, fuck. So we said we got like one more night to try to make up some of the money. So I said, you're cut. I'm going to order this next one. 
and I was looking at the, I don't know anything about wine. I was looking at the wine list and I was like, uh, no, don't get the ones from Italy. Don't get the ones from France because I know what they're going to do. They're going to be like, oh, this one's from Italy. So you're going to think it's good, but actually it's like the worst Italian wine ever made. So I said, give me this one from Washington State. And you know why I went for it is because it was called like Chateau Smith. And I was like, if they call it Chateau Smith, it must be good because they didn't put any sauce on the name at all. I would not trust a wine from Washington that's called like La Maison de Louvre or something like that. I would, give me Chateau Smith. It must be popping. And then, well, I drank like one sip of it and I was like, this is really good. And then we looked it up and it was like $9.99. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> we got fleeced. It had decent reviews, but, but that's not what we were trying to... That's not what we were trying to do. So we weren't, we weren't trying to get good wine. We were trying to make our money back. So my advice is only order the wine package on a cruise if you are degenerate. <laughs> In which case, I think you might be able to make it worth your while. I mean, I didn't realize... I, I think it took me until like day three to realize that it was not like one bottle a night. It was like... You can have as much wine as you want for five nights because I was like that's not something that We really do with alcohol in North America because like I think we people realize that like we can't be trusted What the hell's going on man? When I was in college, I had a cruise where our package was 15 cocktails a day That's just like I'm a relatively firm believer that you should be able to like do whatever you want within reason, but I feel like incentivizing people, like allowing people to drink 15 cocktails a day is one thing. Incentivizing people to drink 15 cocktails a day is crazy. <laughs> like that's insane. The whole gang had alcohol poisoning. I mean, 15 cocktails a day for the length of a cruise is like, it's a lot. 15 cocktails a day for like a day is a lot. <laughs> for like four days or something? I don't even, maybe even like 10 days? That's crazy. SMP up so much today, we're winning? Reply, I do agree we're nearing the top though. Just don't bet against the trend and you'll be good. I'm going to give you another piece of advice. Under no circumstances should you take financial technical analysis advice probably from anybody but definitely not from twitch chat okay um i'll be like a peculiar fighter especially a non-subscriber i mean come on <laughs> it'd be a different story if, if you were a subscriber but a non-sub trying to tell you that we're in a a head and shoulders pattern come on you see egg prices lately I know, they're so high. Wrong. They're so low. Did you see they've deflated like 92% in the past three months? They're, just, they're saying again, don't jinx it. I'm just saying! What am I gonna do with my freezer full of fucking $8 eggs, man? I'm ruined! Don't even talk to me about REM, okay? I'm so pro-REM, but... Chat's not ready for that take, because they only hear two songs on TikTok. Losing My Religion and Everybody Hurts. Oh, Everybody Hurts, that song from The Office. Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to the words that I'm putting into your mouth? R.E.M. so boring. You don't understand, okay? You weren't there when Murmur came out. Me neither, but I read Pitchfork when I was in high school, so I know that it's good. It, it, radio free Europe, radio. You weren't there, okay? I know you love UFOs. Are you pogged up about the recent news? Are you talking about those UFOs that were driving the forklift in Las Vegas? That's the only news. I, I saw that Mathis was going a little crazy over it. But I didn't know what it, like, is it, <laughs> no, the guy who supposedly heard a dude talk about seeing them. I did see the Daily Loud posted a scathing 
tell-all where a guy said that uh, the Allied forces recovered a downed UFO from Nazi Germany in World War II? I'd have to say, on the scale from ridiculous to believable, I buy it. I mean, why would he lie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not my area of expertise. I know how insane this sounds. But I think, like, I'm just kind of tapped out on the news. I, I feel like if there were... If... Aliens came down and landed on Earth. It would be like crazy news for me. I like my mind would be blown and I would be like, how how isn't everybody talking about this? And then the next day I would be like, okay, what's next? Okay, yeah, we got aliens now. Alright, that was the biggest story of like you know, June. Let's move on to something else now. Please. Oh no, I'm running the numbers and I'm not liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> Sip said he wouldn't care. I'm like, it would be amazing. Don't get me wrong. Like on an intellectual, like on a, on a, it would be insane. It would change everything to know that there's other intelligent life in the universe and like we have contact with them. But then like fucking a day later, my ass is going back to work, right? Call me when the aliens give us some technology that makes it so Stoke Cold Brew is in 869 for two liters. You know, if they could if they could get it down to like 669 for two liters, then maybe I'll, you know, take them to my leader or whatever. Hey, Sir Lawrence, 270. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. And Armator, thank you as well. Are you named after the, the character from the Cars franchise? I'm very slowly becoming more aware of Cars, by the way. From what I understand, Cars 1... Let me, let me see if I've got this right, okay? And I've only seen half of all three movies. Cars 1. Lightning McQueen drives... He is a car, but he drives in, like, the NASCAR series. He gets in uh, an accident, and he has to recover. Or does he go to prison... Is that the one where he goes to prison and he's exiled to a small town and that's where he meets Mater? And then they like sentence him to rebuild the town or something like that? Something like that. And then that's where he meets his love interest. Cars 1 is community service. Thank you. Thank you. His bus falls asleep. And he falls out of the carrier and like destroys a town. That sounds right. Then I'm very familiar with Cars 3 because they play it on the cruise like in an abridged version as a bedtime story that our daughter loved to listen to. That's like the, the new European car comes in Cars 3. Or no, he's just like a, he's just a young upstart car. And it was like, it was my pleasure to beat you. And then Lightning McQueen's like, what the fuck? And then he meets the, the trainee, or the, sorry, the trainer who's actually like, she wants to race herself, but the, and, and then they go to the demolition derby and he learns like when you drive on sand, you got to turn left to go right. And OK, so that's definitely Cars 3. Cars 2, Larry, it's like Johnny English, but with Larry, the cable guy, he gets wrapped up in international espionage. There's like a conspiracy um, wherein no, it's Cars 2, man. Cars 2, definitely. Larry the Cable Guy becomes a spy who's also a car. Cars 1 is where he drifts. I got a lot to learn, said Lightning. Cars 2 is Valkyrie for kids. It's crazy. Who's the Colonel Von Stauffenberg of, of Cars 2? Is that Mater? Doc? Isn't Doc dead? I mean, I guess spoilers for Valkyrie and like history, but so is Von Stauffenberg. He, he's in prison? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I don't know if people are ready for this take or not ready for this take. I think that utilities should be free. If anything, 
it hurts me because I live in a place where utilities are like really cheap. But I think it's fucked up that in Ontario, they got to pay more to heat their houses just because of the fact that the province fucked up when it chose like how to generate electricity and BC's, you know, had it goaded from step one. And what's the argument that, like against it? Oh, if we made utilities free, that would benefit the people that keep their houses at a comfortable temperature. Fucking okay. What do you think? You're like a better person because you wear a sweater in the wintertime? People would leave their televisions on longer. Brother, you're already, you got people out there that drive 500,000 miles a year on their car. You're driving, you know, 1,000 miles a year in your car. You're both paying the same for the road or proportionally the same. Crypto farmers would go wild. Well, just um, put them in prison or something. I don't know. Just think about it. <laughs> Not, no, there's no such thing as a perfect solution. You know, well, you got you to gotta build in the edge cases as, as well. We'll lead us to kings. We'll really lead us to kings. I was thinking about I think I'm right. Honestly, you can't you can't convince me. How about we charge people for what they use? Yeah, but then like it, I'm uniquely bringing up my own country's hypocrisy here. Um, why don't we apply that to healthcare? Oh, but healthcare is different. It's like a human right. It shouldn't be like a human right to be comfortable in your own house in the wintertime. We should turn it into like a fucking weird who's got it worse competition where people are like, I don't even turn my heat on until January the 3rd. I don't turn the heat on in my house until it's uh, at least minus 45. I don't like either of these units right now. Your ass, I guess. I want to tell everybody that this is your ass. <laughs> and we're back. We're back. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I saved your turds. How wonderful life is. I don't know. I got to figure out how it's going to end. But turds definitely does rhyme with words. Hey, VIP Daniel, you here? Is this anything? We got, I, I gotta listen to more Our Lady Peace so I know how Starscream goes. It's like, shock team, shock team. Is this anything? You're much music pilled. I don't really know how it goes. I just know that Rain Maeda screams the whole song. And he goes, yay, yay, yay. I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that it was a disaster for... Sp I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anybody else think that when Rain Maeda married Chantel Kreviasak, it was like Goddard Damarong for the editor-in-chief of TMZ in terms of spelling, in terms of... I don't want to go off on a rant here. But does anybody else think that when Rain Maida married Chantel Kravyasak, it was the hardest day in spell checks entire life? I don't wanna I don't wanna go off on a rant here. I, <laughs> There's something in there. Tick 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 me playing. Peter Molyneux's curiosity so that I can win the promise of being paid 10% of what his next game makes and then he never makes another game. Oh, anyway, we have a lot of fun here sometimes. You know what the, the problem is that kids these days don't know who Rain Maida and um, Chantel Kreviatsak are. Rain Maida is the lead singer from Our Lady Peace and Chantel Kreviatsak is the... She sang the Leaving on a Jet Plane version from the Armageddon soundtrack. They're a Canadian power couple. Who's Our Lady Peace? Goodbye, the future sold out. There's no use screaming. Who thought we'd ever get this far? You know what I'm talking about? That's the song you went with? It's their best, well, it's the best song from... Happiness is not a fish that you can catch. 
No? You should have been born in Canada. Dummy? <laughs> then, you, then you'd get the joke. Sorry, I guess. Damn right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tra -la 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 la Tra -la 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 -la. Remember that? Dude, do you remember that? You watch the Tour de France now? No, I told you, I'm not a nerd. We win these? We win these! Ten piece, baby! Woo! What up now, Swedes? Unlock the new background, too. You guys think massage actually works? Because I, I got a massage that my wife booked for me on the cruise. And so it was a, it was a bamboo massage. And uh, it's one of the most painful experiences that I think I've ever been through in my entire life. Instead of using their hands for like a gentle massage, they use a bamboo uh, rod and like they need you, like, like a piece of bread or something like that. But she was like, she was working the knots in the muscles and that was fine. There was nothing wrong with that. Would I say it felt good? No, I'd say it felt like a normal massage. It felt like my muscles were being, like it, like it hurt and then it was okay. And then it hurt and then it was okay. But then, I don't know if, if it's just the morphology of like my back, but when she was going up my back, the thing was like putting its fingers in the notches of my spine and it was painful. Like it was, it, it, like the next day my spine was bruised. Like if I touched my, my back, it hurt. And then uh, like that, you start on your, on your stomach, right? So I was like, oh my God. Like that, uh, thank God I can turn over on my back now that uh, she's done with my spine because it can't get any worse than that. But then she got into my calves and I, I walk on my toes, so my calves are like, I'm just going to say it, they're, they're muscular, okay? They're big. She was getting into like, you know, the horseshoe part of the calf? She was digging the, the calves or the, the bamboo rod like into the divot on the horseshoe and going like... And I honestly, I think that the relief that I got from the massage was when it was over. Like the most relief that I got from the massage was when I knew that she was done with the calf. But then the problem is that as soon as she was done with like my left calf, I couldn't enjoy the rest of the massage because I was like, she's gonna have to get my right calf at some point. So I didn't even enjoy like the part where she was massaging my, my quads because I knew that as soon as that the quads were done, I had to get the other calf done. I get that you can like tell them that it's like too hard or whatever, but listen, you can't do that because you'd be a puss. You gotta tough it out. I'm not gonna like pay for the massage and then be like, actually, I don't want a massage. <laughs> Because then it would feel like I wasted money, which is a worse feeling, spiritually at least. Would you go again? Um, if my wife booked it for me. For sport? Probably not. Would you book it for your wife? Probably not. I think that she would probably consider it too painful, honestly. What's a Marty versus an Andy? Great question. A Marty versus an Andy. <laughs> Never really thought about it like that. <laughs> I think that certainly all Martys are Andys. But I wouldn't necessarily say that all Andys are Martys. Marty is danglished Andy, no? 
I don't know what you're saying to me, quite frankly. Yeah, you're trying to say that Dan rizzed up Marty's? I'm just... I, I think that maybe there's like... Um, Massa massage inflation or something like that. Like at some point, people realize like it's it's nice to have someone else like massage you, but then like I think some freaks got their hands on it. Quite frankly, this team is just way too good for the stage of the game in which we're at. And now like I'm I'm just getting into massage. You know, I get like two a year or something like that, but they. It, there's no such thing as, like, a, we just lightly massage you anymore. There's no, like, beginner massage. Everyone is, like, we put, like, suction cups on your back and turn you into, like, the sixth die, the sixth side of a die. Or they, like, beat the piss out of you with bamboo shoots and reeds and stuff like that. P put the oil in the microwave for, like, two and a half minutes and then pour it down your crack. Like, it's just, I, it's crazy. They put the beans above the frank? That's going to be the next one. But they're not going to call it beans above the frank because they know that everyone would say no. Instead, they call it something like, oh, do you want the, the relaxation treatment? And you're like, that sounds nice. And before you know it, the beans are above the frank. It's stupid to not tell the masseuse they're doing it too hard. Isn't it? I, I mean, I guess that I'm just built different because I trust the experts. This lady's been given massages probably full time for like eight years I'm going in for like my third massage and I'm like you're doing it wrong I guess like there's just something wrong with me that I don't feel like I should be like mansplaining to the masseuse how to do their job she can't tell she's doing damage to you she should be able to because they can see the veins in her forearm popping out man it's a it's a bamboo rod how could she not know I think it's probable that I just probably had like the greatest pain tolerance that she's ever seen. So I honestly took it that maybe there was like an element of it for her that she was like, I'm going to make this guy tap. Like maybe she was having like a bad day and she was like, I'm going to take it out on this guy. And I was like, you won, but I'm not going to let you know that you won. She said like, how was it? And I said, I feel so relaxed now. She didn't have to know that the reason I felt so relaxed was because of the fact that it was over. It means I outlasted the KGB in the interrogation. <laughs> and I didn't talk. If you ordered a steak well done and they served it to you rare, what would you say? I w First off, I would say thank you for giving me something that tastes better than what I ordered. Secondly, it's not the same thing. I was of the opinion that the things that they sell at the massage parlor are relaxing because that's the reason you're there. I thought it was going to be like the the Bacta chamber. Like you, I was going to be like Goku in the tank just floating around getting relaxed. What it actually was was when Goku uh, died and then went to Master Popo's like training area in heaven and got like 10,000 years of like getting his ass beat so that he could become more powerful when he went back down to the earth. That's King Kai, not Mr. Popo's. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's been a while, okay? Maybe you're more sensitive to pain. How would I be more sensitive to pain? I won. I out, I outwitted out what's the other, out competed outlasted outwit outplay outlast that's it <laughs> omg the thumbnails what's the thumbnail i don't understand sometimes people just pop in here and they say things that i don't get twitch thumbnails are messed up every twitch thumbnail is the same image and it's not not safe for work it's not not safe for work so it's safe for work. Check all of them. Bro, I'm streaming right now. I'm doing my job. If any, I'd be the person on the planet like least likely to know what a Twitch thumbnail looks like right now. 
Just look at the front page. No, I'm I'm working. <laughs> I don't even want you to level up, but I can't resist you. It's the first time I've ever done it. You can't resist us, Mr. Powers. Au contraire. I think it's you who can't resist me. I'm working makes Austin Powers quote. Green text arrow saying I don't have a real job. Next green text arrow giving me money anyway. Who's the idiot in this situation? I feel like I'm content with my lot in life, okay? Check thumbnails now? Like dead ass don't care. The website's broken in unique ways literally every single day. Oh, it's broken today? Thank God. That's what, that means business as usual. Stubborn MFR? What is, oh, gotta go to the front page. You're right, the thumbnails are messed up. What do you want me to do? My ass does not have live stream fails on my Reddit homepage, okay? I just don't, I don't care about the business. I'm just here, I'm, I'm just here, win the NBA championship, should have won the NBA finals, or should have won NBA MVP, I mean, win the finals MVP, go to the parade, give the people of Denver their first championship, and then fly back to Serbia and ride horses all summer, okay? You're welcome. I'm going to change my game name to Final Fantasy 16. You're so lucky. I know Roman numerals, just for the record. And then... I'm going to call this World's Number One Final Fantasy 16 Enjoyer. Well, you're lucky I know Roman numerals, because I could easily... If I'm going to make a mistake with 16, I'm going to write it as if it's 14. And then people are going to go in here and be like, have you done the hardcore static Omega weapon raid? And I'm going to be like, yeah, as Scholar. But no spoilers, please. I haven't done it as Samurai yet. He knows, lol. He knows. He knows a little bit. How do you know the words? Because my wife played like a lot of Final Fantasy 14. It fucked up my life for a while. She was going to bed at like 4 a.m., She'd be like, oh, new raid comes out. And I'm like, oh, that should only take like what? Like a couple of nights? Turns out it takes like a month of fucking scrims and like sports style practices with regimented hierarchies and like shot callers and stuff like that. VOD analysis. Final Fantasy XIV drawings that look like shit posts, etc., etc. Well, well, well. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I can't believe it, but it's true. I'm here playing Final Fantasy 16's demo exclusive to the PlayStation 5. You can download it yourself from the Sony PlayStation Marketplace on the PS5. Thank you to Square Enix for the sponsorship. I'm very excited to be checking it out. It's a meaty demo. People said it's two to three hours long, um, which I'm eager and excited for. So people are not familiar with the fact that I have not played that much Final Fantasy recently in my life. But it, I'm 34 years old. You know what that means? I was a teenager when the Final Fantasy games that changed the world came out. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's crazy. I remember... It, it, it's nuts to me that Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy X are like within three, four years of each other. When I played Final Fantasy X at my friend's house, it was photorealistic. And also, I would have done anything to get Titus's hair for myself. Now, little did I know, a few years later, um, so on and so forth. Anyway, we're going to play the whole demo today. I've been told, if you don't know this, I'm sure you probably do, but if you don't know this, Final Fantasy Every single main series numbered Final Fantasy game is different. You might be thinking it's a little intimidating to be on 16. I haven't played the first 15. It's a perfect jumping in spot. It's new characters, new lore, new saga every single time, okay? Some shared hallmarks of... Uh, you'll, you'll see, like, the similar enemies. Like, you should be a little careful uh, to, to if you find a Tonbury. I'm pretty confident we're probably going to see all that stuff in the demo. Right? We'll summon Ifrit. Knights of the Round... Other references to Final Fantasy that I'm very familiar with. Materia. We are living in a Materia world, and I am a Materia girl. I've always said that about myself. What's your favorite Materia from Final Fantasy VII? And you can't say cure. Green. <laughs> oh, come on. 
cure, cure. Ah, 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 what did I tell you? The one that Yuffie stole from me? So true. That's why in, in my subsequent playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII, I never got uh, Yuffie. Because I was like, I don't want her to steal my materia. My Final Fantasy VII party at the end of the game, obviously you gotta have Cloud Strife. Um, I would usually run Barret, I think. And then maybe like a Red 13. But deep down inside, I'm, I'm a Kate Sith stan. What are the side things? Those are the visual alerts, dude. It's how I know that there's something happening. It's killing your image? Okay, okay. Wait till the cutscene's over. I'll see if I can turn it off, okay? I thought it would be like how in Apex Legends you get like... Or Minecraft, you get like footsteps are here. It's okay, we can see the choir. <laughs> and that's how I met your mother. Were you there the whole time? I thought that was Yoshitaka. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. You promise? And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. I knew we never should have gotten matching tattoos. If I'd known how Let's much of a done. jerk he was. I know who Koji Fox is. I went to Final Fantasy XIV Fan Fest in Las Vegas, Nevada in 2014. You think I don't know who Koji Fox is? Why? Because my wife wanted to go. Who is it? It's the it's the guy who translates the games into English or Focus localizes wider. them into English. He also sings some songs. He knows. He knows. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna lower the volume here. I said focus, Wyvern. Yo, just relax. I'm on story difficulty. Just give me a second. It's, it's jacked Chris Kattan. It's Chris Kattan after he takes the super serum. Take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Oh, we're rhyming now? Is that what we're doing? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's getting down there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, I'm going as fast as I can, but what do you, what do you think we're going to do? We've got two gods here. All I got in my pocket is uh, six Herba and a Phoenix down. out of Phoenix down. He's raining down rocks with a with a pocket full of gill. Oh, he's he's cooked, man. Was that my tattoo buddy? Shirt brother? Wyvern, we need that phoenix down. You brought the phoenix down, right? 
No, you spent all your gill replacing Barrett's gun with a cannonball. I told you before, you do not get to die here. The other guy gets to die. Yeah, that's no fair. I hate when I wake up with bed hair. It's all messy. Thirteen summers earlier, the year of the realm 860. In the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Go on, you're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Am I stupid for thinking that was a cat? <laughs> I got so confused for a second there. I was like, why why did the cat woof? And a chicken? You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. You promise? I know I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close the gap by executing a Phoenix Phoenix shift three times. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix Shift is one such iconic feat. D Chad, don't even talk about the iconic feat, okay? I, I see what you post on your private Twitters. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. He was just a little hungover. Life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Mommy? Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. It must have been crazy in, like, the Middle Ages. Joshua. Where you were just surrounded by, like... Peasants with mud on their face, like, all the time. And then, like, for three seconds, once in your entire life, the queen walks through your village. Good day to you, mother. I can't even put myself in that, in that headspace, man. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. What a way to treat your own flesh and blood. I know. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. I've got good hearing. Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. It's a cat, brother. I don't know what... That's why I'm so confused. Your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. You think if you were a king, you'd get sick of bossing people around all the time, right? Like you, sometimes you just want to be like, "Oh, what do you want for dinner?" Safe return, Your Grace. It's always telling people to do stuff. Don't, don't look down. War don't cast your gaze. Get, war's coming. Get ready. Sometimes they're probably like, "Holy cow, jeez, can you like just choose what we're watching on Netflix tonight for once?" I'm kind of losing it. That. The kids are named Clive, Jill, and Joshua, and then the dog is Torgal. And maybe that's what real life is like, you know? Dude will be named like David, and then he'll be like, here's my dog, Buster. Huh? It's called stealing. <laughs> Yoink, my apple. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir, it won't happen again. Then he shows how, how magnanimous he, uh, he is. Ah, it's okay. I'm not gonna cut your head off for dropping an apple. Thank you, sir! Thank you! Holy! Chewing gum champion of the world, 2023. Why? Neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your They don't even know dominion. that I stole their potion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. 
start. Dude's got the I Disneyland lightsaber on his <laughs> on his belt too. I don't want to get on his bad that side. Is your lordship's wish? Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. Just uh, carry half as many apples next time, so I don't as drop do one. All, my lord. Thank you, sir. I'll never drop another apple as long as I live. I swear on my life. Comfort and safety before your own. Mommy, mommy, hello. I'd like to have a conversation with you. I'd like hello, hello. Look at me, look at me. You only look at my brother. Look at me, look at me, please. Hello, look what I can do. Anyway, all right. I'm going to the throne room. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. This guy, he knows what he's doing. There's other ways you could have said that. We must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the mother Christ He's always taking the Tobias Funke route. Blight. The iron blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go it's just our grandpa shield. telling us a story about how when he was a kid you there could get a milkshake for one gill, but now it's three gill, three gill for a milkshake, and it's extra for the materia essence? Come on, three gill. Active time lore. Hold the... I don't know what you call this button, honestly. The touchpad. Hold the touchpad to access the active time lore, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. It can be viewed during most cutscenes. Okay. Look at this. My dad, Elwyn, of course. I do feel like this is the Arrested Development intro. We lived in a house here. This is my dad. This is my sister. You know what I'm talking about? The one son who had no choice but to keep them all together. Clive. What did they wear for casual Friday in the Middle Ages? It's getting cold. We He's wearing leather pants, big boots, lady. pauldrons, a, a under tunic, a tunic, three satchels. She's got on like a, it's like a frock with like an overall frock on top of it. She's gotta get someone to lace her up at the back. You ever just kind of lounge around in like a t-shirt and shorts or something? It's like an old work t-shirt and uh, boxers. Friends, we ride for Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us. And shield the fireless flame forevermore. We remembered it. We remembered all the words. Oh, I'm so nervous I can't get to sleep. What's wrong, honey? I'm the guy that says, open the gates tomorrow. But I'm just, I just don't want to mess it up. I always mess it up. The sire departs. Open the what? Open the, open the, open the gates? No, I'm so stupid. Holy, dude. Luke Wilson. I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. You're right, it's Paul McCartney after he broke up the Beatles and started his band Wings. So wait, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. Sir Tyler and Sir Wade, man, I can't so good. To the marshes then. Oh, we should be safe. We got Wade and Tyler backing us up. I bet they can't even conjure fire with their bare hands. Travel to Still Winds. Still Winds? What my wife says after the 17th time I farted after eating chili? I don't know. I'm trying, okay? They can't all be winners. Still Winds? <laughs> it's the most... 
minus twos I've ever gotten. And I can'ts, which are basically minus twos, but like in emoji form. Not exactly the most well-maintained path. But who do you imagine would maintain it? The all fled from the blight. Except the goblins, of course. Wait, did I say that out loud? The old village of Stillwind is ahead. Gil, Gil, Gil. G Wade, Wade, slow down. Wade, that's mine. I saw it. Two Gil for me. Listen, you're making an eighth of a Gil a day on contract. You don't need this two Gil, Mr. Greedy. Excuse me, I wanted to go up here. Excuse me, I wanted to go up because there were two Phoenix Downs on top of the log. Wade, stop. I'm trying to do something. Fifty-five gil, fifty-five material, hundred and hundred and fifty-five shiva, hundred and fifty-five ifrit, fifty-five. Oh, Tyler! Look, that's a classic Tyler move right there. I will say I've only played Final Fantasy fourteen one time. It was PVP at Tokyo Game Show, and if we won, we got a T-shirt. And my wife was like, "I want that." She was like the in Napoleon Dynamite when. Uncle Rico is selling the Tupperware to that family. And she goes, I want that. Post it up. Played as a healer. She told me, like, okay, every time it's off cooldown, just mash, like, these five keys. And we won. <laughs> and then they said, what size shirt are you? And I said, extra small. And they didn't even bat an eye. It's the perfect crime. Gear can improve, imp <laughs> you know what? Going offline, guys. Boom! He staggered, he staggered, get in there. You drop one of these on him and then you go. Twenty-one fifty-five. So should I be doing square triangle? Or should I be doing square, square four times then triangle? Just, just weaving? Square triangle? Okay, you, you got a two-piece now. It ends your combo if you do it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Shouldn't I do like four times? I saw Talia. I trust Talia. Talia said square three times, then triangle, then square. Like that? That looked pretty good to me. I think I should have stuck with square triangle. It might not be the most effective combo, but it's I can use it. I know how to use it. Because it's two buttons. Can I tell you, even that... Oh, a thousand damage?! I don't get out of bed for a thousand damage, man. They've become staggered. Now we go for the Talia combo. Don't look at me. 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 It's harder. That's the problem is that it's harder. It's that easy. More bowl slain. I need to go to the combat room and practice my combos. You know what? I'm like Clive. I'm doing all the damage and chat's like Tyler. They're like, oh my lord, I know I only did three damage that whole fight, but you should really try square triangle, square triangle, square triangle. Wait, actually, well, I know what I gotta do is square, 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 wait for the hit register, then triangle, then square, and then repeat. That's not how it works. I was doing a little better with just square triangle. Unfortunately. <laughs> the young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye. And one of these nights he may even deign to join us. He knows what he's saying, dude. I hear you threw a more Nothing screams Final Fantasy like the plucking of a harp. The men were singing your praises. Dun, 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 I never used dun, to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. 
that's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. I feel like this demo is going to end My with the child the transforming into Bahamut. Ruler over life and death. Isn't fair. It should have been you. And then he's going to go like, no, and then it's going to be like Final Fantasy yeah, 16. He's the Phoenix, though, not Bahamut. His duty. I forgot about the Phoenix. <laughs> that makes more go. sense. <laughs> when our ancestors chose to instate the dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria, all to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the dominant shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. Now, if you like that story, kid, give me 30 gil. I'm trying to get a new bracer. I was born to be your shield. That is why come I was on, come on, your dad's rich. 30 gil, come on, it's just 30 gil. No matter what. However hard it gets, I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. Same dad? Yeah, but his, my mom hates me. She's not letting her fingers off the purse strings. But for little Joshua, 30 gil? Whatever, whatever the phoenix wants. Right? It's a mere 30 gil. It's not even... Couldn't even buy a piece of chipped cure materia for that. 30 gil! Come on! Good night, Toggle. Uh-oh. From the I don't buy it. Mostly because of the music. Yes, the Trojan Chocobo. <laughs> I remember. When the ill-fated armies of Nibelheim <laughs> sent the Trojan Chocobo full of evil materia to Midgar. And everyone on Soldier let it in, and they were like, Look, Materia, Materia, cool chocobo. Oh no, what? Oh! The North Gate's up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? Well, I'm taking the Phoenix, which means I get the gold chocobo. Hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I know. I will see you again when we are both phoenixes. Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. Josh, Wade, Tyler. The whole boy band is counting on you. And Torgal. Don't forget about Torgal. Torgal's the guy in the boy band who's inexplicably like 34 years old, surrounded by 19 year olds. He's the only one who has sleeves <laughs> and, and long pants on. We ride for Roslip to rally our forces. I will need your help. I'm telling you, I don't think Tyler can be trusted. I think it's a very emotional moment to have the boy in all his innocence save Tyler, but it turns out Tyler was one of the betrayers. Father? I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! Oh. Hey. I guess the combat ability doesn't run in the family. 
Kiraga, Kiraga, Kiraga. Tyler's gonna save us. Tyler! <laughs> Tyler, no! Hero Chocobo. We have a Chocobo alarm clock. I'm never going to look at it the same way again. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord? C-3PO? What in the Samwell Tarly is this? It's different, dude! Bird versus bull, the bird's gonna win because it can just, it has the aerial superiority. Who are you? Uh, maybe it doesn't. Embodying the Phoenix. You fire, you aim, you evade. When they're directly within your sights, your targeting circle will expand. That is the time to fire. Imagine throwing fire at Ifrit. Bro, I don't it's, it's all I got. I got no other options. I can't believe that this guy's gonna have to like go home and tell his king that he got beaten up by an eight-year-old. His king's gonna be like, that's okay. You weren't in Ifrit form, right? He's gonna be like, no, I was in Ifrit form. You were in Ifrit form? 
There's a gigantic cave be below the whole world. Yeah, this must be uh, the PUBG map before they fixed it. <laughs> Remember? Oh, man. I have to feel like at this point, the Icon of Fire realizes that they've made a terrible mistake. Like, first off, I didn't know that he was going to be in Phoenix form. So step one, I'm already... It's an even battle at best. Then I, I tackled him into the incredibly open space where flying is an enormous advantage and then I'm really not fighting back too much I'm mostly just hopping I think this is an environment he should have picked like a an, an arena that had like a ceiling or something then I'd be in trouble I'm just gonna wait for the timer and then I'm gonna dodge. Hellfire. He f he hellfired his own damnation. I didn't know you could do that. Game over! <laughs> okay, now I know. Now I know. I thought it was a force death. I thought it was cinematic. I thought it was a force death. <sighs> Not a scripted loss. I've never seen someone fail then. I thought I could dodge it. I thought I could do a perfectly timed dodge. Okay, put, put some damage on him, please. We gotta whittle him a little bit before he before he casts his uh, his sphere. Hey, where'd you go? I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, this is the just hold triangle on him, and it, we we should just make it. gonna be fine turns out you just have to keep shooting <laughs> wait a minute excuse me ah I knew it He doesn't even know he's dead yet. He didn't have like some cool boots or something on him? Yeah, he's feeling pretty embarrassed right now. Never mind. Never mind. He's he's it turns out he's doing okay. This this was me during the massage. You're not wrong. It was all a dream, right? Stop it, it! Oh, 
I knew he had him right where he wanted him. Well, maybe not. Or maybe? Maybe not. Unless... Here's how Joshua can still win. Clive wakes up in his bed. <sighs> Whoa, that was a scary one. Anyway, let's all come down to... Hey, Clive, you bonked your head really hard. Joshua, the phoenix, the icon of flame. What are you talking about? We're going to go have some cakes and ales. Come on down to Phoenix Gate. It's time for the Mayflower Festival. My condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world. And now he is gone. Your Grace, over here. This guy's got pockets full of gill. His pockets are positively overflowing with gill. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. Hmm. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. All in its right place. What the? I was just walking! <laughs> Chin up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Joshua. Holy cow. Well, they didn't skip on the on the heft in the demo, that's for sure. Thank you for playing. Thank you for having me. It was a very consequential demo. That was not just uh Hey, you can, you know, stay on Tutorial Island and bounce Waka's bouncy ball back at him 20 times. They, it was like heavy story and some serious events actually happened. There's extra stuff in the demo? Good God. You've completed the demo, but there's still much more story to tell. If you'd like to learn more of Clive and the Dominance, please consider purchasing the main game. Such a nice way of doing the sell at the end, too. Please consider it. Speaking of which, exclamation point FF16. Please consider playing the demo that I just played myself as well. It's available on PlayStation 5. You can click the link and get more information about it. Thank you to Square Enix for sponsoring this segment. I, I had a great time. Genuinely. Also, like, it very... Slash marker first. Slash marker FF16. Some it, pretty courageous... They, like, they killed an eight-year-old in the demo. Not a lot of studios have the capital to do that, like the political goodwill. And the Chocobo, yeah. Other games will be like, the kid, like, almost dies. And then you'd be like, no, just kidding. The thing fell in front of him, not on top of him. They were, they showed him getting torn up man like he was getting <laughs> it was not just uh like a an instantaneous sort of blunt force trauma like it was it was brutal it was a little disgusting hang on hang on dude i had it honestly now that the sponsor's not here i could i could pull the mask off i had a great time 
I don't know if I will play through the whole game on stream, but it's entered the realm of possibility. How many discs is it? Two discs? That's not that many discs. That's less, that's 33% less than I'm used to. Will it fit on a PlayStation 5? No. Oh, you're not joking. <laughs> It's crazy that, like, the only thing I've played on PS5 is, like, an hour, two hours of Crash Bandicoot, two hours of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, and the entirety of Elden Ring. And then, the like, an hour of Returnal, yeah, and then... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, all of Demon's Souls! I forgot about Demon's Souls. How about Demon's Souls to the tune of Evenflow? That could totally work. Demon souls. Esther survives like flame butterflies. I think that those are actually from Elden Ring. They don't know till it chases them away. Wow, to wow, to wow, to wow. Uh, maybe it doesn't work at all. I'm gonna blame you for that one. <clears throat> Slash marker, Shogun, Showdown. I wasn't gonna play this. Then chat said, hey, Play this game. It's available as a demo on Steam. It's called Shogun Showdown. I've heard it is a tactical deck builder that has been enjoyed by other YouTubers who uh, are faster at getting onto new good games than me. I used to be right at the tip of the spear. I used to be diving deep into the upcoming release schedule. I've fallen off now. I used to send emails. Hey, I know your game comes out in six months. Maybe I could check it out early. Has anybody ever asked? And they say, nobody ever asked that before. Sure, why not? Nowadays, I wait for other people to play it first. And then they kind of filter like the, the whole Steam, you know, the, the, you know, when you put all your coins in a coin star, I'm trying to pick out the ones that are just quarters and above, okay? We're playing Shogun Showdown demo. Sorry, I got lost in my own rhetoric there for a bit. Start me up here. I don't know anything else about it. <laughs> two, two, two stam, two strength, leather belt. We can move this way with WASD. And we can move with our mouse as well. I see, I see. Look at that, holy. What about, does S turn you around? No, S waits, okay. Interesting. Understood. I've done it. What's next? Attack queue. Click or drag and drop to add a tile to the attack queue. I will add an arrow shot and then a, a sword to my attack queue. Space or right click will do the attacks. Okay. I believe I kind of understand. Please do a hop. I don't understand. What do you mean? Do a hop. Like this? <laughs> I'm missing something, obviously. Practice. Defeat the dummies to proceed. First, go to info mode. Strike the first enemy in front of you. Strike the cells in front of and behind you. Oh, I see. So how about an arrow, then an arrow, then turn around, then an arrow, then an arrow. You can be honest with me. Was that the best way to do it? Combat is turn-based. Performing one of the following actions triggers a turn. Move or turn around, add a tile to the attack queue or attack. Okay. Defeat the enemy to proceed. Hello. Well, I have to turn around first. If I'd known that, I would have turned around earlier. Oh, okay, never mind. They, they juiced me. Next turn, you're gonna turn around. Okay, go ahead. Next turn, I'm going to... Well, if you're just gonna turn around, I'm gonna attack you. You're going to add something to the attack queue. I'm going to add something to the attack queue first. And then I'm going to go first and own you. You can skip a turn by waiting. Sometimes waiting can be a very useful action. You can rearrange or remove tiles without triggering a turn. Defeat the enemies to proceed. I understand. I'm going to add a sword to my hopper. I'm going to rearrange these because it doesn't cost me a turn. And then I'm going to walk backwards one. Holy cow, you, you stink. You, you freaking suck. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have taken... Oh, I've... Wait, wait, wait. Your whole queue pops with one action? That changes everything, dude. 
You could, you could set up a huge turn. I understand now. You're going... What are you going to do next turn? Nothing? Flip me around. I'm going to shoot my whole wad on you right now. Get owned. The Wanderer versus Daisuke the Dasher. I don't know how much HP you have. I, I see. How about one of these? How about one of these? Honestly, I think I'm just going to... I'm just gonna go in on you. Oh, is the health bar at the top? <laughs> How about one of these? And then I move backwards, so you miss. Then I, I keep pressing you. What are you at? What the heck is that? Bell. Summon an enemy in a random cell. I would rather add this then. And this. We can get one big attack. I'm gonna move backwards. And I'm very okay with this order, I think. It'll kill you and then do range damage to the boss. Beautiful. Now you're gonna dash and hit me. Eventually. Oh, he's adding another one here. He's adding a sword. I know exactly what I must do. Just wait. Yeah, really? You're gonna dash? Okay. Go ahead and dash and hit nothing. Shuriken. This. While you're coming up here, we might as well put this in the hopper. Cause you to miss. Chase you. And then shoot our whole wad. I mean, you're you're done, brother. It's, it's over for you. I'm probably the best there ever was, right? Can I tell you, it's it's nice to play a game. This is not, I'm not trying to insult anything we've played recently. But it is nice to play a game that has um, such minimalist mechanics that are easy to wrap your head around instead of stuff exploding on the screen every 15 microseconds and you know, the enemy didn't die, they died, it didn't die, it didn't die, it didn't die. It's not a glance at Sap, it's a glance at Voidigo, which I still think is like pretty good, but anyway. Let me think about this. If you just load up the whole the whole kitten caboodle here. You're going to attack. Okay, bait? Get baited? Is this guy ever going to do anything? He doesn't have the space. He can't he can't do anything. Okay, turn around and watch this. I'm crazy. Now I've guaranteed that you will hurt me, which is not smart. Never mind. That's a given. You're gonna step in my face and die. See if I care. I wait, and then I own you. You guys gotta get some new material. I mean, this is just, it's a little embarrassing. I need to keep, sp I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna do an attack. So I'm gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna load up my own attack. And you guys are causing each other problems right now. Watch this. S uh, rearrange the order, please. I'd, uh, Friday, can we rearrange the order? I would like to make sure that I get the kill this turn. I f for some reason, I thought that it did four damage. It's not merely Wild Frost where I make mistakes like that. I was looking at the cooldown instead of the big number. Ewow, the Impaler, as played by Owen Wilson. Okay. I mean, step one. This right here. This right here. What is this attack? Strike at a distance to in front and behind with no piercing. Here's what I'm going to do, brother. I'm going to wait for you to do that. I've basically baited you and I own you and I rule. And then you're going to just eat it right there. Let's load this bad boy up. Wait a turn. Get baited. Throw this out here. Throw this out here. Is, am I full? I can't throw another one out there? I can't. He can't. Well, I'm gonna go crazy on you then. Oh no! There's no way for me to move to not take damage. I'm stupid. Okay, well, you attack me. I'll attack you as well then. I see. I see the level of puzzling that you're getting into here. How about one of these? about one of these? You're gonna summon an enemy in a random place? 
Well, it's not going to be right there, so I'm going to shoot my whole wad. And you're dead. I'm the best. I fear nothing. We wait. We arrow. We wait. One of these. Silence. I kill you. Queue up a halberd. Move back. Toss one of these at him. One of these. One of these. Silence. I own you. This time he's first, though. I honestly, I guess I'll, I'll curse you. Because we got so many consumables here. And you're going to move towards me? I'm not going to do five damage in my next hit, so I'll pop this to get the cooldown out there. Move back one. Leave one of these in the hopper. One of these in the hopper. Silence, I kill you. How about one of these? I might even be able to get a two for one here if I play my cards right. If he moves next turn. Come on, take a move. He's, he refuses to take a move. What a, what a coward. Two damage, you got three HP. Okay, so you're already dead. I'm too good, man! I do appreciate a game making me feel, like, more intelligent than usual, though. Usually it's the opposite. He's too swag. <laughs> Ume the Unrelenting. He's unrelenting. He's quick-witted. Can attack immediately after adding a tile to the attack queue. Oh no, it's Wild Frost. That means we should pre-jack a dash. Because after he adds it, he's going to attack. I'm going to add a Halberd. I don't think he's going to do a two-piece two attack. He didn't. He chose not to attack. Four damage, let me guess, hits directly in front of you. Strikes the cell in front of you. Okay, put, put another one of these in the hopper, and then we're going to make the dash happen last. He's crazy. Go ahead, turn me around. He could attack us on the next turn because he's adding something, so we're moving back one. He's, do, he's using a shuriken. Holy cow. Oh, how bare do you? Two shurikens? Okay, if you're going to shuriken me, I'm going to toss a little dash in here because he's going to attack next turn. Okay, enjoy this. I'm never getting hit again. Papa Halberd, now I'm sweating. Now watch this one. This one's going to be Halberd, dash, arrow. So we kill the archer before they can do anything. And he misses. How about two of these? Flip me. Shuriken me. I don't even need a dash. I'm going in on you. And then I'm hot swapping you. So you miss completely. I'm flipping you around. I'm dropping a halberd on you. I'm moving back one. I'm dropping an arrow on you. I'm dropping one of these on you. And I'm ruining your life. I'm, I'm the best to ever do it. Demo Master. Defeat Ume the Unrelenting. New best time, 26 minutes. Defeat him in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Defeat having performed 20 combo kills or more over the course of the run. What the heck? The timing was perfect? I honestly thought that run was like 15 minutes long. I had a great time. I, I, I love the mechanics of the game. There is a part of me that thinks maybe half the reason I loved it is just because I bodied it because maybe it's a little too easy. But I, I love games like Into the Breach where like it's you, you debug the turn in a stepwise fashion to put it, you know, in the... IDE pilled terminology. I think the full version comes out like at the end of June. Pretty close. Yeah, I like a game with full information. I was gonna run one more back, but I'll, I'll slash marker it for now. Shogun Showdown. Chad, you know, is my wife here? Is she in my house? Oh, she is busy running some errands. I don't know if she's back yet. I don't think she's here. I think we can run one more back. Okay. Ooh. Grappling hook. Once unlocked, you may find it in future runs. That sounds good. I'm sorry to say this. I don't think this is what they're going for. Does anyone else see, like, scared Hitler here? No? Come on, one person, please. Don't make me... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Chad has the potential to do the funniest thing of all time right now. 
Yes, I see it. Okay, good. I don't. It, it doesn't even have a mustache, but in my head, I'm like, dude, this is, this is like melting Hitler. This is like Hitler opened the Ark of the Covenant. Are you still taking bio steel? What do you mean taking? <laughs> it's not. It's a. It's a drink. You just drink it. It's not a. It's not a something you take. I don't understand where this take came from. If there was a 15-year-old outside of Costco and he asked you to buy him bio steel, would you do it? Um, I wouldn't. Hold on, let me think about this for a moment. But it's not because, like, of anything except for the fact that BioSteel is, like, pretty expensive. If BioSteel wasn't so expensive, then, like, sure, no harm, no foul. What if he doesn't have a membership? I forgot about that. <laughs> Combo's nine. I thought I was on like 20. Okay, okay. We still won though. Let me <laughs> slash marker this Shogun Showdown 2. I'll send you over to Kate's stream. I got a laundry list of stuff to do and I will see you tomorrow. Later. Good games today. Good games. Did y'all talk about his bamboo mas massage? Yeah, Ryan was like, <laughs> Ryan said it was more painful than getting his wisdom teeth pulled. And when he was getting his wisdom teeth pulled, I felt like I was watching like a, a, like a World War II Nazi captured American and like torturing on like the dentist chair like that's what I witnessed in the dentist office like he the dentist was like on top of like on like he was standing on the dental chair yanking the tooth out like like you know what he was like like what you know what I mean like like he wasn't just like yoink it wasn't like that like he was on the chair like basically he was on top of Ryan wrench both hands trying to like yank this uh wisdom teeth out and then the dentist was like the upper one was like fine but then like the bottom left one was like the root of the wisdom teeth was so crooked that it was like not good <laughs> he said it was not good and then the left side was like even worse so he needed to crush the wisdom teeth into pieces and pick up the pieces. And then, well, I told that story to my sister who is orthodontist and then my brother-in-law who is like head surgeon. And he's like, bro, your dentist sucks. I could do that in like two seconds and like lunch during lunch break. Well, either way, uh, Ryan went through that procedure and then the dentist was like, you gotta take a good care of Ryan because he, he, he has suffered. And then Ryan came back from bamboo massage and then he was like that that bamboo massage was more painful than the wisdom teeth extraction and I was like okay then compared to was was it more painful um compared to when you when I waxed you and then Ryan was like ah, it's up there those two like like getting getting his chest hair waxed um he said like that that was the most painful shit ever so he said like the bamboo massage was almost like up there and then i was like i told ryan like you know if, if the masseuse was like too hard on you you could tell them to go like easier and then ryan said like i don't want to be a little poo to like uh, you know i i like i'm a big man i could take it and then Ryan was like, I think I got a bruise everywhere. Ow, 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 ow. And then uh, he's like, touch my spine. And I touched his spine. And he's like, oh, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> and he's like, touch my arm. And I, I just poke his arm. And he goes like, oh, it hurts, it hurts. And then he's like, don't even touch my legs. My legs are frigged up. It was so good. The whole... So the rest, like the next two days, Ryan was like, it's getting worse. I think I'm bruised. 
And then Ryan's like, am I bruised on the back? Am I bruised on the spine? Can you check? And then I was like, dude, I cannot see if there's a bruise or not because you're so hairy, my dude. Like, I have to go through, uh, like, a rainforest in order to find this bruise. Like, I cannot see, man. And then, remember, like, the last night of the Disney cruise? I forgot to take an extra t-shirt out for Ryan. So he had to sleep with only underwear on. And so I was like, oh my god, like, he's like top half naked, bro. And then he was walking around with top half naked in the cabin. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I just, like, I have, like, a big foot in the cabin. It's so weird. Like, you're, like, it's so funny. Like, I was laughing so the whole time. It's so funny to see a man who is completely bald. But then his chest, shoulder, and back was, like, full of hair. Like, like, so luscious. It's, like, I don't know why. It's, like, it's just, it's just so funny. It's just so funny. You know, when we were out in the Alaska, Alaskan mosquitoes were like vicious, right? They, I was wearing, because like Alaska is cold, I was wearing like sweater on top and long pants. And yet I got like two, I think it's a mosquito bite, it could be bug bites. Either way, I got two bug bites on my legs. And I was like, what the hell? How does that happen? Because like I was wearing, I wasn't wearing any shorts or anything. And then um, I was, I, we were on like the mountain, like hiking. And there were like so many mosquitoes and I was freaking out. So we got, I got, I have like the mosquito repellent stickers. So I just put it like everywhere on Luna so that she doesn't get mosquito bites. And then on Ryan and on myself as well. And, but then there was, I guess there was like a dead zone in the mosquito repellent sticker. Which like for Luna, she's small. So she didn't really get the dead zone. But then like for Ryan, because he's bigger, like I think... The mosquito repellent sticker didn't cover like the crotch area. So this huge mosquito was buzzing around on like on in front of Ryan's balls. And then I was like, Ryan, mosquitoes, mosquito. And then he's like, where, where? And I'm like, on your balls, on your balls. And then he was like, he was like, ah, it's okay. It's okay. He won't be able to get it. And I was like, oh my God, you're going to get a mosquito bites on your balls, dude. And then I was trying to shoo it away. But then I was so close to like smacking his balls. And he's like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm so scared. Stop it. <laughs> Don't smack my balls. And I'm like, I'm not trying to smack your balls. I'm trying to chase the, the mosquito away. And he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> and then Luna is like, what's going on? <laughs> and then I was like, Ryan, you better be, you better be thankful. Because like if it wasn't for me, you would have mosquito bites on your balls. And that gotta suck, right? Has anyone gotten mosquito bites on your balls? On their balls? Was it the worst mosquito bites of all time? No, I haven't. They don't really bite there. How does mosquito know, man? Mosquito doesn't go like, oh, this is their balls. I'm not gonna bite. They're just gonna bite wherever. He wasn't wearing underwears. He was wearing pants and underwears. But the mosquitoes in Alaska, I'm telling you, they're huge. We're not talking about city mosquitoes. They're like mountain, mountainous, huge mosquitoes. So if they were to, like, they would be able to pierce through the pants and the underwear. I, I'm telling you, like, they, there's less available blood. So they go for thigh, shins, arms, back, hands, face, etc. Yeah, but then once they pierce through your balls... And even if they don't draw blood, you'll still get itch. <laughs> Ryan be like, no, mosquitoes, don't suck my balls. No, you guys are missing it. You gotta be like, hey guys, hey guys, watch me. Mosquitoes suck, mosquitoes giving me a blowjob. <laughs> guys, guys, the mosquito is giving me a blowjob. Is this an, I, I think you should leave. It? Yeah, when the dog gives the blow over <laughs> them, like, guys, guys, look at me, the dog is giving me a blowjob. And everyone's like, yo, oh my gosh, the dog is giving me a blowjob. But then instead of the dog, it's mosquito. But anyways, I, I saved Ryan from getting bitten on his balls. So, I honestly, that should be his Father's Day gift. I saved his life. I saved your balls, dude. I saved your future's future sperms
How do you stop your mosquito humping your leg? That's good, that's good. What about the One Direction that song? It's like, if you like smoking Zaza in a hotel room, if you prefer to vacuum rather than use a broom, if you like using Google Meet cause you can't stand Zoom, baby, I'm perfect. So let's start right now. Something like that.